It's a wish that started a long time ago. It started 15 years ago, taking the car and going with my niece to see the nature, beautiful as it is now. Light, efficient from every point of view. First of all, aerodynamic, powerful and safe. But if for you it was only the arrival of the road car to make you get to know Dallara well, then it's necessary a little explanation on what else happens here in Verano de Malagari. Wish I was blind So I wouldn't have to see The sun not over you shines it's easy to talk about sacrifice, and in my opinion, sometimes in our industry, passion is mentioned without putting excessive emphasis. That's why today I want to get help from a person who gave, sacrificed all for motoring. And that, for competence, innovation, trust in young talents, has become an icon of the world motor racing in his city where he's always lived. Giampaolo Dallara is simply the engineer, and that's how everybody knows him, in those temples of the speed where his cars and his frames have been winning for a long time. Dallara takes part in all the Formula 3 championships, in addition to Indy Lights, IndyCar, GP2, GP3, and also the Formula E, Formula E. The WEC, IMSA, just to give you a few examples in short, a galaxy within the motorcycle world in which Giampaolo Dallara is arrived demonstrating professionalism already from his first collaborations in Ferrari, Maserati, Lancia, without obviously forgetting about Lamborghini, with a model that he particularly loved. But it had some mistakes at the beginning. The engineer spoke about those mistakes, naturally. The first one, for example, what I personally made in Lamborghini when we presented the Mura, we took the same gearbox placed in the same way used in cars with a longitudinal engine, a clutch on the gearbox with the flywheel on the gearbox and not on the engine. It was the first time I did it. The result was an incredibly noisy car, so much so that we immediately changed it and we succeeded to recover. I had this kind of problems so often. To gain experience as a professional, Dallara had the ability to accept defeats, but not to go along with them, to understand the mistake and avoid in future similar ones, a teaching that often reminds his staff, and this is the central point of everything, at least the human aspect that has struck me more during my visit in Verano di Malagari. Here, values and experience are transmitted at all levels, from those who work on the same line of the engineers, up to the communication. In Dallara, we go fast but the environment seems cohesive with a sincere participation and if we then add competitiveness and humility then the formula of Giampaolo Dallara to train its employees seems to be the right one. Here in our business, in our experience, there are two kinds of errors. One that is of non-knowledge or underestimating certain problems and the other is a little presumption. These are types of errors that allow you to learn. What you need to do and try to remember it, consider it as a positive element, as a wrong experiment which led you to something that worked out well. Dallara's specialists often work on projects concerning the corporate excellence that orbit around the design using carbon fibre composite materials and aerodynamics, obviously from the wind tunnel to the CFD, up to the prototype production, but in any case, there is a subject that now reigns supreme for a long time, safety. Exemplified by the engineer, with a historical parallelism in the car of which I'm most proud, the Mura. These were the same approval criteria of my Fiat 500. There was the tank in front of the pilot with the battery below. To not ruin the appearance, I put the filling unit behind the air outlet guard of the radiators so that I had added additional dangerous 50 centimeters. The protection of the occupants many years ago for many and prestigious builders was not among the primary goals, but soon became a goal for Dallara, where the technology and the continuous improvement of the materials have grown in symbiosis so that the maximum performance could go hand in hand with safety of pilots who often write or rather visit Dallara to thank them for their excellent work, a skill that in many occasions saved lives. Sofia came to meet us. She was in Italy. 
She made an experience in Misano at the DTM and came also to thank us because actually it could end badly. Indeed, it worked out very well, attesting that the car worked like it was expected to work. In Indianapolis, just to get the idea, the average speed is about 360 kilometers per hour, with peaks of over 400 and very limited escape routes. The materials, composites like carbon, are one keystrokes in absorption of impact. And if so many drivers still compete, is because their bodies succeed in managing impacts by absorbing energy and bringing the deceleration revolution to be tolerable for the human body. There are sectors, those of safety where, of course, I ask to my collaborators to exaggerate, even with safety coefficients, avoiding to stretch out the 20 grams risking to be too close to the limit. You can't think about cars to this level without correct academic preparation or technique. And above all, such results cannot be achieved without people who love what they do. And that's why it was decided here to invest not only on our own brand, but also on the territory because for everyone, it's of clear importance of being able to count on motivated employees and colleagues. A key feature for Andrea Pontremoli, the person who brought over 700 employees, also activating many initiatives linked with the Motor Valley. When I meet a new collaborator, a new potential collaborator for our company, three things strike me almost always. The first one is the passion he has for our world for the world of motorsport, for all that concerns racing cars, the supercars, because here is the birthplace for this kind of environment. The second one, very interesting, is the intellectual curiosity. That is how much curiosity has a person, not only on the motorsport, but also on any topic, because the open-mindedness we need in the future, it depends on people's curiosity. We don't need people who have a fixed relationship here, people who come from nine in the morning till five in the evening, they're useless characters. The third one, which is difficult to define, I call it energy level or enthusiasm. That is something that a person can transfer immediately just after your first meeting in the first 15 seconds. And that strikes you because enthusiasm is one of the few things that even if you don't want it, you transfer it. And this is one of the things that I notice a lot. In Dallara, they don't only aim to select collaborators and energetic minds, but always to enhance the territory within the company. There are dedicated labs that make intriguing the discovery of everything that is related to the automotive sector. It's the Dallara Academy that teens or very young students can experience firsthand what means vehicle dynamics or aerodynamic efficiency and still understand the difference between the various composite materials here in the rooms of experiments simulators, small wind tunnels and thematic quizzes. In this way, it's possible to get closer to schools and families, not only to them, to the know-how related to the automotive sector. And as you've understood here, there are a lot of things that allows me not to make me think, at least until now, about the road car, but now I will call it back to the center of the scene, a car where we can find corporate excellence, a sport car that the engineer desired for a long time. And as always, in the end he succeeded for his 81st birthday, Gianpaolo Dallara made himself a present. His road and talking to people who saw the car rising, I understood that this car had so many fathers and all very affectionate. It was defined in so many ways. But what I liked more is that the Dallara road car is as if it was the travelling window of the whole Dallara know-how. Do you agree? The fact that the Dallara could be the window of Dallara, it is perhaps one of the fairest ways to describe it because it all started as the engineer's Dallara's dream, creating this car and to do it with a certain philosophy. The idea from the beginning was, let's put together everything we learned in 40 years of racing. The study of aerodynamics influenced the entire car in design phase. This is something which increases its technological value more than the economic one. The most important feature of the front area is this part here. It has a side channel, a side channel which takes its name from its shape in section. We call it elephant foot. 
as the name in the main prototype, is a channel that using the vacuum of this area of the car, moreover it sucks air from the front diffuser, further speeding up the speed, creating further depression, adding downforce, because you always want to add force to the front bottom. Perhaps one of the most desirable sports cars of our time, not only in terms of speed, considering it's 400 horses per 850 kilograms of weight approximately, but its intrinsic meaning makes it look like unreachable. If you have any doubts, you can take it off visiting the factory where the road car is created, and that's where you can breathe the essence of one of the most representative brands of the Motor Valley in the world of people who have decided to help make even more powerful the vision of the engineer. Passion is an important feature. Those who take part to this job with the desire to do something better than others and we can understand them, those who will succeed. Fortunately, we have so many, many, many good guys. Super good. As a demonstration of esteem and affection, he defines in this way some professionals, but actually here in Verano di Malagari, the most complete is the engineer Giampaolo Dallara, with his company that will continue to be an example to follow, to make even more legendary the Italian motor racing of tomorrow.